My name is Gillian Hendy. I'm a postdoc at NUI Maynooth. Um, my research career really started in my fourth year project um, where we had to do a final project uh, and I did it in drug delivery. The Marie Curie Fellowship is a European-based um, funding that allows researchers to go abroad, learn some key technical skills and then return to Europe to train and I suppose teach other people what you've learned when you go abroad. Honestly, when I applied, I never thought I'd actually get it because it's quite prestigious. Um, but I suppose my name of the game is if you're not in, you can't win. I just spent the last two years in the world-renowned Robert Langer Lab and really Marie Curie gave me that opportunity. Without it, I probably wouldn't have been able to, you know, do something like that. I think the experience did match my expectations. Uh, MIT is, I suppose, world-renowned, obviously, but it's just an amazing place with amazing people. It is a very tough environment, but it's a great learning curve. I'm uh, Gary Studi. I'm a plant scientist at Kennedy Space Center in, in Florida. And I'm currently a Marie Curie uh, Research Fellow at Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. For many years, students from, from Ireland were coming to my laboratory at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. I was training them in techniques, and they were coming back to Ireland and applying them. The Marie Curie Fellowships allowed me to actually come, train many students at one time, and, and establish a laboratory as a center of excellence in controlled environments. That, that laboratory has now been recognized, been selected to lead an experiment to the International Space Station. So in, in my view, that's really what these Marie Curie Fellowships were designed to do. They capitalized upon the mobility of the students and of the academic to establish a center of excellence. My name is Cecilia Fenech, I'm from Malta, and I'm currently an early stage researcher on Marie Curie ITN at Dublin City University. I definitely think being on a Marie Curie ITN will help advance my career somehow. First of all, because it's well known, so other people tend, especially in academia, tend to be aware of the level of a Marie Curie fellowship and know what to expect. Also, the fact that there are other researchers, all the academics and industry partners, you have a network. So if I'm starting to look for a job, perhaps they have contacts or they already know what you are doing. So even, for example, having the industry partners has helped a lot because we get to talk to them. So we know what, if, especially if you want to go back to industry, you know they are involved at the start of the project, so you can make it more tailored to industry or industry needs. My name is Stephen Davey. I'm from Ireland. I'm working in Waterford Institute of Technology. Uh, I'm researching in computer science and specifically into new internet technologies. I applied for the Marie Curie Inspire Fellowship because it was definitely one of the most prestigious fellowships uh, even across Europe at the time. It gives the, the researcher, you know, quite a flexibility to go to a research centre that, that they see is, is really the top in their field and to come back to Ireland again after they finish the, the fellowship uh, and really bring, bring that experience with them back and integrate it back into their, their Irish lab. The Marie Curie uh, stamp on your CV is really seen to show a candidate of very high calibre. And also the, the, the Marie Curie Fellowship itself it promotes um, training into other disciplines, not just research skills, but also other complementary skills like project management skills and interpersonal communication skills. My name is Zahra and I'm from Iran. Uh, I got my master's degree in nanomaterial and material science from Materials and Energy Research Centre in Iran. And now I'm doing my PhD in one of the ITN networks called Atiwarm, Advanced Technology for Water Resource Management, um, in Dublin City University in Ireland. At the beginning, when I applied for this um, position, I didn't really know the difference between the Marie Curie and other, other grants. But afterwards, uh, especially from the reaction of the people, when I say I'm a Marie Curie fellow, I found that it, this is something very prestigious. I can say as a part of my network, um, I received all of the skills and training that I needed for my future work, for my career, um, like 
business skills, management skills, and also some um, specific training about water and water treatment, a future water treatment and energy, sustainable energy. I'm Alan Davey, I'm from Waterford in Ireland, and I'm a research fellow in telecommunications. I applied for the Marie Curie Fellowship as I saw it was a great opportunity to move to a, another country to carry out research in a different environment after my PhD was completed. I think the Marie Curie Fellowship has advanced my career because it's allowed me to work in a very prestigious research institute in Barcelona and also it put me on the right track to become a more independent researcher. Um, my name is Pelagia Glambedaki. I'm originally from Greece and I'm currently working in the Southeastern Applied Materials Research Center of uh, WIT Waterford Institute of Technology as a postdoctoral researcher and my current research work focuses on drug delivery systems for sustained release um, of drugs. One of the great things I got to do as part of the Marie Curie Fellowship was to visit um, a, a renowned uh, research institute, the Max Planck Institute in Germany, um, which for me as an undergraduate uh, chemistry student was really just a dream. I never thought I would make it uh, ever working there. And I, I, this was made uh, possible through the Marie Curie Fellowship. On top of everything, it's a great honor to be selected as a Marie Curie Fellow, and especially in my case that I did my PhD as a Marie Curie Fellow, it was for an even longer period of time. So that was really a wonderful experience and opportunity for me.